Ubuntu is a dedicated categorization tool distributed by SoftSoft. This freeware version is non-expiring and creates very efficient vectors. File Open Image launches a file browser for image selection. Ubuntu creates centerline or edge detect vectors based on settings and parameters. Image brightness, contrast, gamma level, and color threshold controls focus interpretation on image content to suit requirement. The image is subject to a thinning process. A choice of thinning algorithms is available. Centerline vectorization applies thinning methods on the flyout. The Zang and Soon method is best for content with many corners. Stint effort method suits content with many curves. Thinning can be incorporated as part of a one-touch vectorization function. It can be useful to thin the image separately to edit results for better control in the vectorization process. Ubuntu has a pencil, single pixel erase, area erase, and drop tools to assist image editing. These tools can resolve source image problems before thinning if desired. When thin images have been edited, a copy of the result can be saved. If Ubuntu thinning is not performed on the source image, the one-touch vectorization function automatically executes thinning. A one-touch vectorize options panel offers some control. Thinning method is set to thin deferred. Use processed image displays a view of the thin image and the resulting vector in the navigable preview. Unedited one-touch vectorized thinning may reduce unnecessary vector elements. Ubuntu vectorization reduces a vector for every change in direction of a line on pixels. Polyline smoothing and polyline reduction settings allow a set amount of leeway when generating vectors. This results in a large reduction in the number of vectors required to describe the shape of a line. Savings are reported in the statistics area of the panel. One touch vectorization is initiated. A thin image and a vector are created in the view. As indicated in the preview, the unedited thin image causes the generation of unrequired vector elements. Ubuntu has basic vector editing functions allowing deletion of extra vectors. When editing is complete, the vector is saved in the XF format. One touch extraction of edge detect style vectors will not produce the best result. Ubuntu's own candy thinning is the only option available in the freeware version. The preview area reveals breaks and unrequired vector elements using an unedited candy fit image. The use original image option only affects preview display. Standalone edge detect fitting requires some adjustment to candy method parameters. Caution standard deviation controls the spread of pixels included in edge testing. Black and white images use a setting of one or two. Higher values are used for toned or photographic sources. Candy thinning is based on statistical methods. Hysteresis settings dictate limits of probability a pixel must satisfy when assessed as belonging to an edge. In this case, pixels achieving between 3 and 45 as a probability of being edge pixels will be included. Edge detect thinning is launched and the result appears in the view. Ubuntu drawing tools are used to close line breaks. Candy method parameters have much impact on the amount of manual editing required. One touch vectorization options are adjusted. A stint effort method is used to fit the edited line. Polyline smoothing and polyline reduction settings are adjusted. One touch vectorization is initiated. Review of the one touch vector extraction options reports the number of lines in the curved vector and the number of lines saved by Ubuntu optimization functions. Thanks to these functions, this vector uses a small fraction of the data required by unoptimized vectorization of the same line. This is a primary benefit of using Ubuntu for raster to vector conversion.
The raster image is hidden for checking the vector. If acceptable, the vector can be saved. The same sources were vectorized with iCAD and Inkscape. Visual comparison might suggest little difference between output vectors. This is not the case. Apply a new topo, iCAD, and Inkscape vector output to generate dual paths shows the topo results to be the most useful conversion. When dual path creation uses multiple pass operations or repeated use of motifs, data processing and data transfer overhead can be dramatically reduced by using Wundoko to extract source vectors. In particular, CNC dual kit users should start with Wundoko for all dual pathing based on extracted vectors.